Hey, what's up guys, Aaron over here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today for another last question mark challenge here for the 2020 Italian Grand Prix. Today, we take on this challenge, driving his Pier Gassi in his Alpha Tauri. Obviously, the Alpha Tauri's look pretty damn decent in FP2, so I thought I'd take on this challenge, and again, like last week, I thought, I thought to maybe do this challenge with the Ferrari guys, but let's be real, it might be even worse for them this race weekend, so let's see if we can do any wizardry with Gasly and try and predict where he might come. We actually got it completely correct last Last time out, you guys came back to the video post race, and some of you were noting that we got Ricardo up to P4, faster slap, and that's exactly what he did in real life. I doubt it'll be as accurate this time round, but let's see what we can do. But if you're unfamiliar with the challenge, we're here for a 25% race, short and snappy. Have to get the moves done when we can. Uh, around here, though, on the game, the slipstream so powerful around here as it might be in real life. To be fair, uh, so I don't think overtaking is going to be much of an issue. Just going to be about really how the start is. That will really determine how well. We do, to be honest, the opening few laps because then obviously it's a little bit harder to make up ground in Alpha Tauri versus like the Renault uh, versus the top three cars because the in the game at least the Alpha Tauri is a little bit slower than it maybe is in real life. Uh, obviously, through this season, we've seen them being pretty damn rapid when it comes to race day. But let's get into this then from last place on the grid, P20 here at Monza, 13 laps ahead of us as we go to five red lights driving us Pierre Gassi today. Lights are out and we are underway. It's a shaky start for us, but even Worst one for Latifi there on the left-hand side. That gets held up by Grosjean and uh, Magnussen on the left and right. Grosjean right ahead of me trying to ease ourselves into turn one. So it broke actually initially a little bit early there, trying to uh, kind of suss out where the space was on the outside. It is now of uh, of the of the Hasman. And then we've got the Alfa Romeo of uh, Giovinazzi on the left-hand side. Can we try and get past him using plenty of overtake mode here on the opening lap? But hopefully not going to make the same mistake I did last week with this challenge where I used way too much overtake mode in the opening opening laps and I was left with nothing at the end uh, driving as Ricardo at this uh, Belgium Grand Prix. Obviously that Grand Prix was a lot more difficult to actually recharge the batteries because there's not too many huge brake zones whereas here at Italy there are some massive stops obviously That's turn one uh, being job. the best one to really gain a lot of energy back but we've overtaken Giovinazzi up into P14 so as first laps go I thought this would be a lot harder actually for the Alfa Tauri so we've actually done really well we're only four places off the points from here I think we can do some good work of you know just getting in the toe like this as we go down the inside now of Lance Stroll looks a bit caught on the way as to the inside we go and we're still side by side through that entire section but we get the job done up into P13 we act now meet Turka Fiat at turn one and we catch him completely unaware he's literally fallen asleep at the apex I don't know what one on there bit of a concertina effect I think from uh, Norris and Perez so we're able to slip down the inside but he actually gets a really great drive I think the AI like to use a lot of overtake mode on this curve uh, on the right so uh, Kvyat gets a alongside as we really have to defend quite hard there so much so we actually defend apparently too hard because Kafiat gets half spun round by us even though we gave him plenty of room I felt and it actually causes a full safety car for some reason even though he's not out of the Grand Prix Kafiat's still there at the top left P13 so I don't know what went on if we look at a replay looks like he kind of got yeah, half spun. I uh, basically pinched him a little bit, but he should have backed out of that. And then actually quite nicely, he, he saved it and managed to not stuff it in the barriers. But of course, he slowed everyone down so much so that FI thought the, the safety guard was needed for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, I would say in the race, in the real life Grand Prix tomorrow, a safety guard would be kind of nice. But let's be real, the Mercedes cars look so strong that even a safety guard won't really, really stop them from getting the one, two. I don't think unless there's, I don't know, rain or one of them has an issue or crashes. I don't know. I think we just need to all bow down to our new overlords, especially so since they made that engine mode change, which uh, seemingly has made them faster. So uh, GG's FI, really good stuff there. So we're here now, lap number four, two laps gone off this safety car. We're on the restart, and uh, historically, I don't usually get very good restarts here at Monza, but hoping to stick on the back of Norris here. We're P12, we're looking very good now because the pack's bunched up again from this restart. We have a good chance at high points here, and we get a great exit there, stuck with Norris didn't lose too much time get on the overtake mode rich mix obviously because we've saved a lot of fuel now so we've got a lot of fuel to burn in this Grand Prix and we dive down the inside not only him but also Sergio Perez who gets held up by the other McLaren of signed we go neutral gear to try and get the car turned in because I wanted to slow down the car so hard but we get the job uh, on the outside P10 it is already then and we've got a whopping eight laps to go in this Grand Prix so we're making fantastic progress and uh, making a real comeback through this field much like uh, Gassi did last weekend at the Belgium Grand Prix and 
Hopefully I'm not jinxing him and I'm actually uh, predicting this right. They might have another decent one because obviously he's been on a bit of a roll. You know, the likes of Leclerc saying he's been one of the best drivers out there this season. I would tend to agree, to be honest. You know, he's been doing a stellar job in this car. And as I said, in FP2 at least, they did look like they had some decent pace. But uh, obviously that remains to be seen tomorrow for you guys when you're watching this video. But here we go now, making a move on signs on the outside. Little bit of a wobble there from him as we faked to right and went to the left. And the engine's overheating just a tad. So we had to go down to lean as I got into that break zone. But we're up into P9 and showing real great pace because we're now catching up to Alexander Albon who's struggling in the Red Bull. Another characteristic from real life to be fair we're seeing in the game. But ahead of us, engine failure and oh dearie me, Sebastian Vettel has had an engine failure in this race. I honestly, hand on heart, I really hope I don't predict that. That's something I don't want to predict. With this series, sometimes we do some wizardry, sometimes I jinx people. I hope that, I really sincerely hope that doesn't happen tomorrow, but you never know with Ferrari, they are very much mentally in Spain without the S still, so uh, we'll see. But we go down the inside of Albon then, showing some cracking pace on these soft tyres in this Alfa Tauri car, powered by Honda. Numero uno Italian team as we overtake Leclerc there into the pit lane he goes along with Bottas and uh, I honestly think we can jump both of them maybe. Uh, maybe Bottas will get us back but I think we have a chance of attacking them because Bottas didn't seem too far ahead of us and you've got uh, Ricardo who's ahead of us on track as it stands right now in P2 and he was already ahead of Bottas and, and Leclerc so, so some brilliant pace the AI of Ricardo is much like uh, we did last, uh, last week. Obviously though this weekend I think uh, Zero Football has said that uh, Renault won't expect the same amazing performance as they did last time due to the engine mode change from the FI directive. So we'll see about that. But we're in now for our pit stop onto a set of yellow wall medium tyres for a little dash to the line. Basically four laps this will be. But the big question is where are we going to be slotted in now once we come out of the pit lane? Ricardo just ahead of us. I'm really hoping we can actually stick with him and try to overtake him. But there goes Giovinazzi strangely. And then you've got uh, Bottas coming through. Magnussen on the left hand side. We have to try and get past the Ascar at least and remain ahead just to not get held up by him. But Ricardo only just cleared Bottas. Bottas looking to get an overtake maybe done, but we're going to use a lot of overtake mode now. Pretty much going to keep it pressed down this entire time. Rich Mix as well at fresh out the pit. Bottas goes defensive and we're going to make a lunge on the outside and looks like we've done it. We've overtaken the Mercedes car. Bottas really slow for some reason. He comes back as we go for the pinch, but he gets the nose in. We're side by side through the verse Lesmo. We're still neck and neck. Now I try and pinch him and completely block him off. It doesn't work though. He still goes for the move and he gets half spun again. So we've half spun two people. But I've got to fully admit, I, I, I don't care what you say. Bottas should have backed out of that one. I fully, completely cut across him. My front, my rear wing was fully in front of his car and then I moved back to the racing line and he still went the, for the dive bomb. I know he's in, he's in a Mercedes car, but that doesn't mean you go for the dive there. The corner was mine, it was Dunzo, so he's just messed himself up there. Maybe that's the only hope we have tomorrow if he does something with Hamilton or just himself to not even get a 1-2 at the Mercs, as I keep saying. But anyway, we move back to this race of ours and we're overtaking Giovinazzi, who is uh, racing for position here. He doesn't come into the pit lane. I thought for a second... I made a mistake going to the right of him uh, through Power Volca because he was going to maybe make a pit stop, but he doesn't. And instead now we have a great run now. Fake to right, go to the left-hand side of Ricardo. Need to get to the apex of turn two here to squeeze him out. The engine is screaming and overheating, so we need to try and sort that out with some lean mixture to try and cool down the engine. Despite having a lot of fuel, the engine temps just soar here at Monza. As we move on now to lap number 12, Ricardo comes back at us then. Even though we're in rich mix, we don't want to deploy too much ERS because we want to save some for the last lap. So Ricardo gets us at this point in the Grand Prix. We have to be patient. We can't go for a move on the outside. They have to stick behind him. But ahead of us, Grosjean and Kimi Raikkonen are in P2 or and 4, I think, or, or 3 and 4, whatever you want to call it. But they're there's a load of cars basically out of position. I don't know how this has occurred. I think the safety car, they must have maybe pit under the safety car, whereas most of us did not. So this is definitely going to be the most wild last question mark challenge we've ever done in a while in terms of there's going to... The only thing I might predict is Hamilton winning this race. 
because all these cars are so out of position from where they'll be in real life. Latifi is in P3. There's a Williams car in the top there. Claire Williams will be fainting in her last race for Williams if she, if she, she saw that. But we go three wide then with Latifi and Ricardo down that straight. We get a double overtake, hopefully done. We have to still jockey for position with Ricardo through the first two turns. He gets the run. He's up into P3. Raikkonen will still be up in P2, by the way, on this last lap. And it looks like he'll be booked in for that P2. Meanwhile, for us, can we get on the podium with Pierre Gasly on the left-hand side, battling the very man I drove as last week uh, for this challenge? And we get the job done quite poetic, actually, in the way of uh, managing to fight him on the last lap. And we're going to continue to fight him. And we have to defend against him into the last corner on the last lap. Ricardo has a little look. Vince Parabolka can't get the job done. But Lewis Hamilton wins this one with the fast lap of the Grand Prix. I suspect that may occur tomorrow. But we come across the line in P3 in the Alpha Tauri, driving as Pierre Gassi. But Raikkonen was in P2 in Alfa Romeo. A Renault of Ricardo in P4. Latifi was still in the top five or six or whatever it was. Madness of a challenge. I mean, let alone doing this chat as a, just as a race, as a one-off race. That was a bit of a mazza in terms of the results and how everyone ended up there. So uh, if if I get anything close to predicting something right in that top five, then it will be an absolute miracle. But that was a very fun race for for me. But also just to see all those AI just uh, kind of mix up there with that safety car early on. That really did change things. So maybe that's something we need to pray for on Sundays. An early safety car that catches the top teams out. Potentially. But as I said, uh, you know, this one's being uploaded as per usual after qualifying on Saturday. So let me know what you thought of Quali. I'm sure there was a farce about traffic and whatnot and a traffic jam in uh, Q's 1, 2 and even probably 3, let's be real. And let me know your predictions for tomorrow's race on Sunday and then come back here, see how you did and then also more importantly, see how I did in terms of did we get anything right. But if you did enjoy this one, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you aren't around here, then do get subscribed for weekly fall on content. Hope you guys enjoy the race tomorrow hopefully till then goodbye